Teleport is the first identity native infrastructure access platform for engineers and machines. By replacing insecure secrets with true identity, Teleport delivers phishing proof zero trust for every engineer and service connected to your global infrastructure. This video will cover some of the key features recently added to Teleport. Introducing Teleport Passwordless Windows Access for Local Users. Teleport Desktop Access previously required hosts to be connected to Active Directory. Teleport 12 extends support to non-AD connected workstations, desktops, and servers. The addition of non-AD makes it easier to add one-off Microsoft hosts. Let's see a demo. We'll start by logging into Teleport via GitHub. Once into Teleport, we can quickly view the Windows Server alongside Linux servers. Next, we'll log into the Windows Server. We're quickly connected, and we can now go about our admin tasks. I can even share a local folder for uploading and downloading files. As with everything Teleport, there is a full audit log and even recordings of the RDP session. Teleport 12 includes a few UX improvements to desktop access, including better performance and easier playback of sessions. Teleport Identity Native Proxy now extends beyond infrastructure primitives, such as servers and databases, and can be used as a tool to provide scoped access to cloud providers. With support for AWS Management Console for both ULI and CLI, Teleport 12 introduces secure CLI access for GCP, GCloud CLI API, and Azure API AZ CLI. Let's see how quickly it is to authenticate to GCP and AWS. We'll start by logging into Teleport. Next, we'll obtain a short-lived credentials for GCP CLI. We can now use the TSH GCloud CLI command to interact with our GCP instances. Teleport 12 introduces four new databases, AWS DynamoDB, AWS Redshift, Azure SQL Server, and Azure Flexible Server. Let's see AWS DynamoDB in action. We'll start by listing our connected databases. We'll log in to the web app DynamoDB database. I can now use TSH proxy to get a local connection via Teleport to my AWS DynamoDB server. As with all databases connected to Teleport, all commands are captured at the protocol level and there is a full audit log available. Next up, we'll cover the updates to Teleport Kubernetes access. Teleport has made it easy for teams to provide Kubernetes access, letting teams create RBAC rules that map internal Kubernetes groups and users. Teleport 12 extends and secures RBAC by providing RBAC based on Kubernetes resource with per pod RBAC. The following role allows access to Kubernetes pods with the name Nginx in any namespace and all pods in the dev namespace. Next up, we'll cover device trust. Teleport device trust bridges one of the gaps to provide a full beyond corp solution. It gives Teleport administrators guarantees about the provenance of machines accessing infrastructure and establishes foundation for more sophisticated device posture-based access controls. Device trust makes sure that only devices registered and enrolled by Teleport may access sensitive resources. Device trust is available with Teleport Enterprise and is now in preview for macOS. This video scratches the surface of what's possible with Teleport and Teleport 12. Teleport 12 also includes some substantial performance improvements and bug fixes. Download and try Teleport today.